You probably want to serve in Lagos, but you're not sure if it's the right fit for you. That is why you need to watch this video before making your decision. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all you need to know about serving in Lagos. I've spent approximately 8 months, give or take, serving in Lagos, so I feel I should know like literally some things about serving in Lagos. Right? That being said, let's get right into this video. So you guys have to note this. This is a public service disclaimer, right? Everything I'm going to be saying in this video is based on my own opinion and my experiences. I would not, it is not generalized. It is not a generalized opinion. So I'm going to be breaking this video into first parts. I'm going to be talking about accommodation, transport, PPA, traffic, standard of living, and the fun part of serving in Lagos. I think that's five, five or six categories, right? And the first one is accommodation. Look, if you're not in any of these categories, number one, if you're not rich enough to sponsor your own housing rent, right? If you're not rich enough to sponsor your needs or pay for your house rents, because house rent in Lagos is average, on the average, like just like a self-contained, it's about 300k right so if you're not rich enough to sponsor your housing needs you don't have relative friends or family members that you can stay with or even a family house here that you can stay in you don't have parents that can pay for your house rents don't come to lagos because you cannot depend on your alawi or how much you're getting from your ppa to serve to pay for your house rent by the time you pay for house rent itself let's say 200k you pay caution fee you pay legal fee you pay agent fee that's entering 400,000 naira well i shall know that it, although it depends on where you're staying right i feel like even if you move further into maybe moshi or like oshodi or ajegule the least you'll find your house is about 150 or 200k so if you know that you cannot afford it, please don't come to Lagos so you will not be jumping from one place to another, right? The second thing I am going to um, be talking about is PPA. That's your place of primary assignment. Getting a PPA in Lagos is actually flexible, right? Um, I actually advise that you get a place you want to work at first get an acceptance letter from the said company before you go to camp. I said it in my previous camp in one of my camp chronicles videos that you have to take like a like an acceptance letter or an employment letter to camp so that camp nyc can post you to that company that you have i feel like it's actually lagos that does this i'm not sure if other people if other states do this as well i think they do i'm not sure but in lagos camp they will actually ask you if you have a place to work submit the letter from that company and they will deliberate if they would want to post you there or not right so and that's on if but it's actually like on on, on, a, on a 80 percent chance that they will post you to that said company so actually advise that you do your research um apply to the company that you want to work at get an employment letter let them accept you right let them give you an acceptance letter that you can get you can take to camp this is before you go to camp right so that nyc can just post you there directly but even if you do not have one right nyc actually places you they post you to a pretty chilled place like lagos is a lot of opportunities like i'll tell you when it comes to ppa it's because there are lots of places that there are lots of things that you can do in Lagos. There are lots of places that you can work, and NYC will actually try their best to post you to good companies. They won't post you to just any other company, and do not be scared if you think that they will post you to schools. Right? The only reason they will you'll be posted to school is if you studied a specialized course. When I say specialized course, like if you did maybe something that they teach in school, maybe like biology or physics or chemistry or math. Yes, that's on it. And you don't have a place to work. That is when they'll post you to schools. So do not like, do not be bothered. Do not think that they just post you to school randomly like that. No. I'm always would I work at comp one of the companies that pay like the least amount of money like the least amount of salary that they pay cop as tbh and that is what they pay me is actually very small compared to other people i get paid fifteen thousand naira out of like a lot of ppa on here in lagos it's just like a 30 percent of them or even just 20 percent of them that pay 
that amount of money right the rest actually pays pretty well they pay minimum wage salary at least some of them pay minimum wage salary and above right some of them pay like 20k 25 some i know companies that pay 50 i know companies that pay 70 i know companies that pay 80 so it does depends on you and how much get a company that will pay you well now the next thing i'm going to move on to talk about is transport there are major ways of transportation in lagos there are cars right there are public buses and ubers bikes just choose the one that your money can afford because cars um to get to a place in lagos lagos is like a big i don't know how to describe it lagos is like a big place that you might not necessarily know how to get to a place to a location that you want to get to so if you're driving you can use your gps to get to your current location right and if you're going to be taking public transport like buses see buses take longer to get to your destination so that means you have to leave earlier if you're going with bus right you have to leave very early then if you're going with uber you can use ubers can also use gps but uber in lagos is expensive forget it is more expensive than any other states than abuja for me Sha, because there are places that i would normally go to in abj and pay like like 1000 naira or like maybe 700 naira maximum but here i will not pay 700 naira here they will charge me 1400 naira why because there is surge or because there is one foolish traffic around so if you know that you cannot afford to be doing uber enter your bus jj because me i actually go i go to work with buses right i go to work with buses early in the morning and but if i'm going to a place that i do not know like a place i have not been to before i would go with an uber that's the way i do my own jj i cannot keep myself for my mother thank you very much then i also said for bikes bikes are you can take bikes to places that are not far right like short distance places there are places that you can go to be bike and just pay 100 naira right so places that are short distance you can go with bike choose the one that's comfortable honestly because and you can also use bike to leave traffic because by the time you're in traffic for four hours they will not tell you twice to stop a bike on the road or to stop like a delivery bike and beg delivery bike to take it to your house and pay one five traffic traffic in lagos is a hazard look in fact i don't think there's anything they can do to help the situation of traffic in this lagos i have not witnessed traffic in any other state that is as bad as traffic in lagos right funny enough for me i thank god though i have not been I've been lucky enough not to be in traffic for up to four hours or three hours. I think the longest I have been in a traffic is just two hours, right? And it's because the way I see it, staying in Lagos requires you to plan your time. Plan your time in the sense that if you want to go somewhere by 12 o'clock, you Traffic starts building up from 6 a.m. for people that are going to work during the weekday, right? So, if you want to go somewhere by 12 o'clock, you know that you need to have left your house by 10. Because by that time, the traffic is slowing down. Or the traffic, there's no more traffic again. Because other people would have been in their houses by that time, right? So, if you have to be somewhere by 12. If you have to be somewhere by 7, sister, you need to have left your house by 5 30 because if not hey well when the traffic hits you like this you that's seven o'clock you get that you get to that place by nine honestly honestly so if when it comes to working going to work if you're living on the mainland and you and you're working on the island i suggest that and you have to be at work by eight o'clock i suggest that you leave your house six six o'clock at most or um six o'clock at most or um, five thirty i have to be at work by seven o'clock so i leave my house 5 30 a.m in the morning yes i know <laughs> that's early but you have to do it so if you know that you cannot handle leaving waking up as early as possible 
or you cannot handle leaving your house as early as possible don't come to lagos now that takes me to my next point standard of living everything is expensive in this lagos from box of matches to hair or clothes it is very expensive in this lagos like you cannot forget what they tell you that lagos is cheap oh. lagos is not cheap Lagos is not cheap because there are some foods that you will get in ABJ that are actually very cheaper than this. E.g. carrots and green beans. If you want to buy carrots of 15 naira here in Lagos, it's literally just one or two that they will give you. But in Abuja, you can get carrots of 100 naira and they will give you like a full nylon. The tourist locations too are expensive. In Abuja, you can go to a place, a restaurant and eat for 5,000 naira. But here, you hardly find a restaurant that you can spend 5k at. The least amount of money you can spend at a restaurant is six thousand naira. That's that's least. That's that's if you're not even getting much. Maybe you're just getting like a milkshake and maybe like a burger or something to go with it. Lagos is like survival of the fittest. Everybody's trying to survive. Even those that are rich, those that are poor, those that are average. Everybody's trying. To provide the legal so i advise that you live within your means cut your coat according to your size if you cannot afford to buy something sister don't buy it don't say it because talaka is doing something you that is talibo you so you want to do it whoa oh yo 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 no nobody will be there to save you mm -hmm. now moving on to the fun life of living in lagos <laughs> lagos is the hub of fun activities let me tell you, it is literally the hub of fun activities. I don't think there's any place you can come to. Like, I don't think there's any place that has as much fun places in Lagos. And as much fun places like Lagos. This is what I mean. In Lagos, the number of clubs that you have in Lagos, eh? <laughs> is it from clubbing to parties to brunch to games? So even tourist attractions, they have it all. Beach, cinema, have, I, I, there are a lot of cinemas in these Lagos. Malls, resorts, hotels, um, tourist centers, one like Lucky Conservation Center. There are a lot of parks that you can go to. There are a lot of places like Landmark. I haven't been to Landmark, but like it's a top, it's like on top of my wish list to be very my tourist top places top flat places to visit in this lagos to be very honest with you like there's opportunity to grow your business in lagos yes there's opportunity to grow your business in lagos because if you have a if you have a small business lagos is the best place for you especially if you know how to package your business well there are theater houses there are stage plays it's just like the best place literally to be for me personally, I love staying in Lagos. I love staying in Lagos. I have always wanted to come to Lagos since I was in uni. So I kind of knew that Lagos was for me to be HGK. Like, despite the whole struggle, the whole um, traffic, or the fact that I have to wake up early, it doesn't really affect me much because I have already prepared my mind to it. You know, my mind is already set that oh, when I come to Lagos, I have to wake up earlier. I already know that things are expensive in Lagos, so I don't even buy what I don't need to buy, right? So that's it for me. Like, set your mind to it and okay, I am not going to spend above my means. I'm not going to buy what I'm not supposed to buy. And okay, I'm going to be waking up early, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing that. Just set your mind to it. So when it comes to a place with good pay, good work opportunities, good um, good exposure, come to Lagos. It's the best place for you. I feel like you can even cope with all these problems, like all this traffic, transport. You can cope with it if you have a good place to serve. And there are better job opportunities here in Lagos. That being said, I really hope I have been able to answer all your questions pertaining to serving in Lagos. Let me know if, despite every after everything that I have said, if you would still love to come to serve in Lagos, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. All right, all right. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.